Alright, what's going on, y'all? This is Box Away back with another video. I haven't been really doing videos lately because I've been really sick this past week. Okay, so I had to take a little break from doing uh, YouTube videos, alright? So, this past weekend, you had the Mayweather card going on. You had the Mayweather uh, Super Middleweights. You had Jay Leon Love, okay, headlining. Uh, he was the main fight uh, against Medina. He got knocked out, he took his first loss. Uh, who else you had? You had uh, Badu Jack coming back from his first loss. Okay, then you had uh, Rob Ronald Gabriel. You had a lot of uh, you had some other fighters on the Floyd's promotions uh, on the uh, the undercard that wasn't televised. Okay, but uh, you had the uh, super middleweights fighting now. These guys have it tough. These Mayweather fighters. Okay, they have it tough because they're getting all types of attention from all different types of fans here you got a lot of mayweather supporters and then for the most part you got a lot of mayweather mayweather haters okay you got people that dislike floyd floyd hasn't lost so they're going to gravitate towards his fighters uh i was on social media the night that jay leon love got knocked out by medina and it seemed like everyone was making a celebration because he got knocked out. Because most people don't think he's really that good. And they're mad or they're upset that he's getting the exposure that some of their favorite fighters isn't getting. And, um, you know, it's kind of ridiculous because if you're a fighter yourself and a fighter or a top promoter wants to sign you, and they're pushing you up towards the regardless of how talented you think they are. If they're pushing you up to get fight to get the exposures that you needed, isn't that isn't that what a promoter is supposed to do? Okay, because Floyd Mayweather is using his name and they're coming up on the Floyd Mayweather. Isn't that a positive thing for their career? Whether you whether or not you think they're talented enough, that's what any fighter would want, right? Now, me personally, I don't think these Mayweather promotion guys are really that good. Uh, they had this, the three super middleweights that I named fighting. I don't really think any of them are. I don't really see any of them being having the potential to be championship level. Okay. As far as them being prospects. Uh, Jay Leon Love is, I guess... He's a lot further in his career compared to Badu Jack or Gabriel or whatever. But I guess he was the closest to becoming or getting a title shot. And I really don't see him as a guy that could be a champion at 168. You know, it's a tough division. You got Andre Deverell. You got you got both of the Deverell brothers. You got Carl Frosch. George Groves, you got Andre Ward. It's a tough division. I really don't see him as being a champion. You got Saki Obika. You got guys, top 10, top 20 guys in the division are all tough fighters. I really don't know if these guys can compete. But if Floyd is giving them the exposure that they need, what's the problem with that? Now, I know you guys, a lot of people dislike Floyd. And because the fact that he hasn't lost yet, people are going to gravitate towards his fighters or towards anyone that's associated with him and slander them in any way that they could. Uh, I know Jay Leon Love wasn't going to be one of those guys that's going to go undefeated. We made I made several videos about this, right? Today's culture of boxing is you have to stay undefeated. For you to be relevant, you have to stay undefeated. And it's unfortunate because fighters, great fighters, take losses. Okay? It's about how you bounce back. That's how you gain experience. Mickey Bay, who I feel is the most talented out of the Floyd Mayweather camp, uh, he took his loss. Okay? And it wasn't because of the lack of talent. I mean, he was winning. Nine out of those 10 rounds, but that 10th round, even when he was winning in that round, he made a mistake. He got a little too comfortable 
and he lost the fight, all right? He was stopped by John Molina. That's what experience does. You take losses like that and become a greater fighter. Some people become a greater fighter from losses like that, okay? Uh, Ishe Smith, very experienced fighter. I mean, he's part of the Floyd Mayweather camp, but he's been fighting way before he signed with Floyd, okay? He, he's been a champion, okay? He's, I mean, he lost his first title defense, but he got the title. He beat K-9. Um, he's still relevant in the junior middleweight division. Um, I don't really know any more other fighters. You got Battle Jack coming off his first knock. He, he he coming off his first loss. Okay, wasn't really impressed with the performance, but mentally he has to get back in the game. So he fought a smart fight. Uh, these guys are fighters, man. At the end of the day, they got families to feed. Like you know, they gotta. It's their career. They gotta take care of themselves. So, you know, it, it's sad because I was on social media and everyone was slandering Jay Leon Love for losing because no one thought he was that good. I never thought he was really that good either. But, I mean, he's a fighter. I have nothing against him, you know. He's never done anything. It's nothing about him. I mean, I see Adrian Bruno why he gets a lot of hate because of his, he's so flamboyant. But I don't really... You, none of the other Floyd fighters. I mean, of course, Jay Leon Love said, you know, the Andre Durrell, and he was saying, ah, you know, before the video came out, oh, you know, they didn't show him I have the video on. He says he thinks he's, you know, one of the best in the division, or he thinks he could beat. I mean, he's a fighter. That's what he's supposed to say, you know. But I see guys on like Dan Rayfield on Twitter just slandering his performance. I mean, it wasn't a good performance, but. He's just slandering him. Like, as a fighter, I'm like, well, Dan, how good did you think Jay Leon Love was? Okay. It's good that these guys got the exposure, but it's bad that these guys are set. You know, people have them have, as, keep them, hold them as a high standard because of the fact that they're signed with Floyd. Like, they figure if Floyd signs these fighters, that automatically means that he sees a lot of potential there's greatness to come with these guys that doesn't mean that okay these fighters are they're fighters like every other fighter you know i mean I, i'm not a big jay leon love fan but i became a fan in his last fight against paramount when he came back he showed a lot of heart he was knocked down he was hurt and he came back and won the fight i thought he lost a game Rosado fight but you know it is what it is you know i mean i have nothing against none of these guys and this is why fighters in this culture today they and, and the fans everyone believes that you can't lose like took a loss it is what it is it's his first loss you know it happens it can happen in boxing you lose you win some you lose some not saying that he can't bounce back now, as far as his performance, only thing is, I have a problem with Jay Leon Love. He was doing too much movement. He wasn't his letting his hands go. Um, he just, you know, Medina just had no respect for him. He was just stalking him, walking him down. And Jay Leon Love just not, you know, he was throwing a left jab. He was throwing his jab out there. He was throwing a, the left hook out there. But he was not throwing the right hand. It's like, yo, when you throw the right hand, when you going to throw that? You know, throw something out there that could hurt this guy or, or at least make him feel that you could hurt him. He didn't do any of that. And Medina just walked him down. And Medina you know, has a lot of power. And it was coming. You know, as soon as he trapped him in the corner and knocked him out. Fighters learn from things like this. You know, uh, I hope this kid bounced back. You know, I, I don't want to see nobody lose and just totally fall off. Um, I did a recent video about Andre Berto about that. You know, I, I, I want these guys to bounce back from the loss. You know, I don't want to see them just totally, you know, just disappear from the sport. But anyway, you know, I just wanted to make that clear. You know, I, I'm not, I don't really see much of a future, big future. You know, I think Mickey Bay is the most talented. Okay. And I think he could learn from his first loss. But, uh, you know, and another thing, too, you know, Floyd got these fighters. It's hard to find the next big 
it's hard to find the, the future of boxing. It's hard. You know, whether you're scouting amateurs or professionals, guys that's young in their career, it's hard to find a, a fighter that is going to be undefeated and so it, it, or champion young in their career. It's hard to find that. The average fighter loses early, very early in their professional career. So these guys that go double digits without having any losses, you know, Jamie I love was pretty close to a title shot. It's hard to get that far without losing. You know, any you guys that box know better. You know, you don't see any guys that fight actually that actually fights disrespect fighters like this. You don't see it. The fans do it. Because they don't understand what it takes to win and, 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 and stay on their feet. They don't understand. So I just wanted to make that clear. Just wanted to uh, point some of those things out. Alright, uh so anyway, let me know what you guys think. And uh, they were saying something about uh, Ronald Gabriel, the guy that was on the other card that fought. They were saying the Romanian, the Romanian. They were saying that they don't like to spar with him. I think these guys need to start sparring with that guy because he pretty, seems like a pretty aggressive, tough fighter. They need to start sparring with him. Because maybe they should learn some things. But anyway, uh. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. I got a lot of videos to put out, so look out for all the videos to come up with Duke Golubkin and uh, Rubio. Alright, peace.